high brain tech here where tech is made simple. So as mentioned in previous videos and posts last year, Microsoft has confirmed that both Windows 10 and 11 are going to be getting one annual feature update per year now, as opposed to two, how it has been um, previously. And with Windows 11, um, we are expecting that a feature update to be called Windows 11 version 22H2, which means the 22 stands for the year of release and the H2 means it will be released in the second half of the year. Now, due to recent reports, um, apparently version 22H2 of Windows 11 is going to be codenamed Sun Valley 2 and as mentioned previously, will be rolling out uh, possibly in October of this year and no later than November of this year, 2022. Now, in Windows 11 version 22H2, we are expecting to see a lot of new features, um, which I have covered in previous videos. So I'm going to mention a couple of these new features now. But if you'd like some more in-depth information, you can always just do a search on this channel um, for some of these up-and-coming features that we could possibly see roll out in Windows 11 version 22H2. None of these have been confirmed yet, but there is a strong possibility that um, a lot of these features are mentioned now will be rolling out uh, in version 22H2. And the uh, Dev Channel insiders could start seeing um, uh, this version of Windows version 22H2 being made available possibly uh, in May of this year, 2022 which means it will go through all the testing and then roll out later in the second half of the year, as mentioned. Now, um, the first couple of features to mention are taskbar. Now, currently in the taskbar, in the stable version of Windows 11, um, you cannot move the taskbar. It stays at the bottom of your screen. And unlike Windows 10, as I have mentioned in previous videos, you cannot move the taskbar to other locations um, you know, the top left, right, as examples in Windows 11 currently. Now, that's a possible improvement coming to the taskbar. And another main improvement coming to the taskbar um, means that you could possibly get dragging and dropping file support on apps to open them in different applications. So as an example, if I take just a random text document and I want to open it in my file explorer and drag and drop it in there currently in Windows 11, I am unable to do this and this is quite a requested feature um, from users of Windows 11 um, and there's a strong possibility that this will return in that next feature update to Windows 11. And then also the settings, uh, the settings app, the settings menu, a lot of the pages as I have posted previously, um, there are going to be upgrades um, to improvements uh, to the settings menu. And one of those would be the accounts page um, where your accounts wouldn't, when you go to manage your accounts, that wouldn't uh, refer you to your online. That would actually now pop up in the actual settings itself. So that's also just to mention quickly and summarize quickly. That's another feature we can expect to see. But the settings uh, pages, uh, some of these are going to be getting upgrades in that next feature update. And then also... In version 22H2 of Windows 11, uh, it's not just going to be, uh, as you can see, dark mode being a made, made available to modern aspects of the user interface. Um, it is possible now in that next feature update that we, as an example, will see legacy uh, features like run as an example, and um, that currently is still um, in the light theme, even though you have your system set to dark. Uh, this could possibly change uh, to dark mode and also other legacy apps you know like your device manager uh, task manager those could also possibly uh, now also get a system-wide dark theme applied when you enable dark theme in that next version 22h2 rolling out later this year and then as many of you know you get your widgets in windows 11 currently now um, it is possible that we are going to see third-party widgets support rolling out uh, for Windows 11 later this year. And that means you'll be able to download third-party widgets, which apparently 
some uh, com companies have already started developing which means you'll be able to download and add third-party widgets into your actual widgets in the Windows 11 operating system. So that might be a handy improvement for some Windows 11 users. And then as mentioned um, in previous videos, we also expect to see Android app support and you know some native apps like Notepad uh, are expected to get some upgrades. As I say, you can just do a search on this channel. I have covered all most of these points already in previous videos. And then um, also Notepad is also apparently going to be getting a dark theme as well. And also we are expecting to see a new media player roll out uh, to replace the um, current Groove Music in the stable version of Windows 11. So that's just a quick summary of what we can expect to see in that next Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update rolling out um, later this year in October and no later than November. And as I say, um, if you'd like some more in-depth depth information on some of these features, just do a search on this channel where you will find some videos where I go more in-depth on some of the new features that I've just mentioned. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.